Hello and welcome to Vacations by Tiffany. I'm your go-to travel agent giving you tips and information about cruises, Disney, and more. In this episode, I'm touring some of the bars and lounges on Royal Caribbean, more specifically on the Mariner of the Seas. And stay tuned to the end of the episode where I'll tell you about all the different beverage packages on Royal Caribbean. Let's start in the promenade with a bar found in some form or other on almost every Royal Caribbean ship, and that is the English Pub. On the Mariner, it's called the Barnacle and Barrel. And when I sailed on the Oasis of the Seas, they called it the Globe and Atlas. The names are all a little different from each other. Some other pub names are the Crown and Castle, the Quill and Compass, the Bull and Bear, and the Hoof and Claw, just to name a few. This is usually one of the places you'll find nightly live music and singing. You may also find some trivia in the pub depending on your ship. There's always a good beer selection and lively atmosphere. Some pubs even have darts and other games that you can play. The English Pub is one of my personal favorites on any cruise vacation, and I definitely recommend stopping by at least once during your cruise to check it out. Next to that, you'll find Playmakers Sports Bar and Arcade. You can also order food here for an extra charge. This bar is found on quite a few Royal Caribbean ships. On the Oasis class ships, you'll usually find Playmakers on the boardwalk. Or in some of the other ships, it's on the Royal Promenade. On the Quantum class ships, you'll find it in the Cplex area. There's a lot of TVs and always some great sports games to watch. You'll also find a pool table and foosball tables, as well as some other arcade games that you can play. Some of the most popular items on the menu are the Impossible Burger, the Onion Ring Tower, and the Campfire Cookie. Our bartender told us it can get pretty crowded if you happen to be cruising during a major sporting event. So be sure to get there early to get a seat. Another great bar on Royal Caribbean is the Bamboo Room. You'll find this one on the Mariner of the Seas and the Navigator of the Seas. With a fun tiki atmosphere and great classic tropical drinks on the menu, you'll definitely want to stop here to soak up the Caribbean vibes. There's also some two-person fishbowl drinks like the Royal Zombie made with rum, passion fruit, Cointreau, lime bitters, and Pernod liqueur. This could be a great way to kickstart your vacation. You can also order non-alcoholic mocktails. On the menu, you'll find some light bites and snacks for an extra charge. Things like ahi tuna and barbecue pork sliders. Next up is a Royal Caribbean staple, the Schooner Bar. You'll find one of these on every ship in the Royal Caribbean fleet. Don't let the subdued atmosphere fool you. This is one of the liveliest places every night as the musicians come out and play great sing-along songs. You might also be able to find trivia here during the day or other various events. Speaking of trivia, here's one of my travel agent tips. If there's ever a themed trivia on your cruise like Star Wars or Game of Thrones, be sure to get there early because they're always really popular. Live entertainment is one of the things that I personally really love about cruising. If you want to hear more about it, I have an entire episode just about the entertainment that you might find on your cruise. It's right here on my channel, so check it out. This is Boleros, the Latin bar and lounge that you can find on a lot of Royal Caribbean ships too. They've got a great rum selection, mojitos and pina coladas on the menu. You'll also find a full bar during breakfast, lunch, and dinner at the Windjammer Buffet. 
One of the best places to get drinks is out by the pool, either from a server or from one of the many bars that you'll find. And in the solarium, the 18 and up pool area where they also have a bar. This is just a handful of the Royal Caribbean bars and lounges. On some other ships, you'll also find the Bionic Bar, where robots mix your drinks for you, the Rising Tides Bar, where you can start on one deck and rise or lower to another deck, and many, many more. A lot of different itineraries also stop at Royal Caribbean's private island called Perfect Day at Coco Cay. And good news, your beverage package works on the island too. Speaking of beverage packages, as of right now, in spring 2022, they offer three different beverage packages. They all come with a reusable insulated cup. The first one is the cheapest. It's the classic soda package with unlimited sodas. You also get access to the Coca-Cola freestyle machine that they have around the ship. The next package is the refreshment package, and this includes sodas, fresh squeezed juices, specialty espresso coffees, bottled water, and non-alcoholic mocktails and frozen drinks. And then the third one is the most expensive. It's the deluxe drink package. It includes all of the things in the refreshment package and soda package, but this one has alcoholic drinks with the gratuities included. I've tried all three packages on different cruises but you have to decide which one is right for you. So for an example, if the deluxe drink package is $80 per person per day, and the drinks are about $8 each, then you'd have to drink about 10 drinks a day to make it worth it. Now that's just an example to help you figure out which one's right for you. Definitely check Royal Caribbean's website for prices before you set sail. And keep in mind, the drink package is for the entirety of your cruise. You can't just purchase a couple days. Thank you very much for watching. Please consider subscribing to my channel and follow me on Instagram for more pictures and stories. You can visit vacationsbytiffany.com to contact me and we can start planning your next Royal Caribbean vacation. See you next time.